How's it going, everybody? Today we'll be playing Snowrunner on PS5. Last time we played, we got this white Western Star truck. And then we pretty much ended the stream. So we're going to be going with that. Building it out, seeing what it's capable of. But we also need to choose what mission we want to work on. Yeah, I got the White Western Star. Let me know if it looks like the audio might be too loud. Let me know if that's a little better for the game audio, or if it's still too loud for my voice. I adjusted a few things and put some some like gain filters and condenser filters on my mic, so I might need to update some of my audio levels and stuff. Oh yeah, need to choose a mission. <laughs> Just going nowhere. Alright. Super order locked. You need to do out with the old. That looks like it's somewhere else. Out with the old. Locked for harbor delivery. Deliver to the port. That's locked for instruments of development. Okay, we could do this. Deliver to the warehouse. Three drilling equipment. So we could work on this today. And I think we can get the drilling equipment from this service hub. But I'm not sure what warehouse we have to go to. Oh, on Island Lake. Okay. Is Island Lake all the way? Yeah, down there. Oh, okay, Jupiter. I didn't even realize it didn't have um, all-wheel drive at the at the moment. So maybe I'll just put this one back in the garage for now until we pick up the upgrades out in the open. Oh, you can get a raised suspension for it also. Oops. That's cool. Oh, here we go. All wheel drive. Oh, I do have it. So I can at least put all wheel drive on it. But yeah, we definitely need diff lock. So yeah, we'll wait on that one. Um, let me take out... No, I want the... Where's my P19? Oops. Didn't mean to leave it with him, but... Oh, the P12. That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, I put this... I put a, uh, a fuel tanker on this one. With the maintenance on it. So let me recover this back to back to the garage. Upgrade tires too if I can. Okay. I'm still pretty low level. I think I'm only um how do I get to that? Where is it? I think I'm only level eleven. There we go. Recover. <laughs> I'm gonna change this. Actually, I should see if I do have tires for this that I can swap out. Oh, I can. I could put off-road tires on this. Could 
good, good, and average. Oh, down on the D-pad. Okay. Do that in a second. So I think I might switch to these off-road tires. Oh, R2 in the garage? There we go. Yeah, I'm level 11. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Alright, I'm gonna put the... Man, it's unfortunate that you can't put... Um... A flatbed on the back of this. Extended winch. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to put the off-road tires on it. And these all look like they're the same. Yeah, these don't look like any difference. I mean, obviously the treads look different, but wheel performance, they don't change anything, but they cost 900 bucks more. So I wonder why you wouldn't just choose the cheapest. I guess it's just about looks. Those ones are pretty cool. But I'm going to go with these $5,900 ones. And I can't afford the extended winch. So let's take this baby out. Oh, it is just how you want them to look, Jupiter? Okay. I think I'll just grab this low boy trailer and go pick up the um, drilling equipment. Oops. Oh wait, can I not put this trailer on this truck? Am I remembering wrong? Oh no, you can. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can sell old parts you're not using? Interesting, I didn't know that. Thanks for the tip. Alright, I think we can get drilling, dr the drilling equipment over here. I think you can. Oh, that's a cute emote. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oil rig drill. Where the heck do you get drilling equipment? Um, drilling equipment. Not at the quarry. Probably not at a warehouse. Oh, there's an upgrade out there. Did some digging we need we just want to start drilling but we're gonna need you to get rid of some old equipment that's in the way oh is this I think these are the drilling equipment they must mean digging out of the old swamp do they mean over in um, Black River no I guess not I was thinking the the right there
Island. Oh, okay. Here we go. We just need to go to Island Lake, and then there's all the abandoned drilling sites. Okay. Okay. So let's go there. And actually, do I have any trailers over there? So if I already have some trailers I can pick up, then... Okay, yeah, Island Lake. If there's already some trailers here, I might as well grab some. Sideboard, semi... Flatbed, semi-trailer. Yeah, I might as well leave this trailer here. So I don't have to bring it all the way there. Detach. Oh, I see that now. If Island Lake's in brackets, it means... It's... Okay. That makes sense. So many little things like that that I just don't notice. Because <laughs> I don't play it often enough, I think. Oh yeah, and I need a low saddle. Man, good thing you're here. <laughs> Jupiter. I'd be I'd be helpless. <laughs> Alright, yeah, in that uh Yeah, in that case I'll just bring the trailer. Let me let me drive back around. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, I appreciate it, Jupiter. <laughs> I'll take all the tips you have. It's probably too far away. Yep. There we go. Off to Island Lake. I think the best way, I'm thinking about going down the paved road as much as I can and then wrap it around here all the way down. I think that's the way I'll go. Yeah, I'm hoping I notice a uh, big improvement with these tires. It's too bad there isn't a garage in Island Lake that I could just teleport to, you know? Whoa. Gonna be a little more, a uh, little slipperier on the pavement with these tires. All right, let me put on some music. Hopefully, this isn't too loud right now. Let me skip that song. Alright. Let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. Looks like it should be good.
actually with the with the truck um, being so loud it might be too loud might have to adjust the game volume pick up some fuel Finally on dirt. Yeah, right away, <laughs> instantly, like, I can notice the difference. Hey, GOP. How are you doing this evening? Or afternoon, or <laughs> really early morning, wherever you are. <laughs> Come on, truck. I'm doing good. There we go. Oh yeah, I guess, I mean, it's the afternoon for me to, I mean, it's it's 3.30 where I am, so I guess that's still afternoon. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, you're in the same time zone? Cool. Cool, cool. Last night we ended up platinuming Spider-Man Miles Morales, so that was cool. <laughs> yeah, EST boys. <laughs> so yeah, I think that w I uploaded it to YouTube the stream yesterday. So that I think we have like the full playthrough of Spider-Man Miles Morales is like five videos. That's pretty cool. Ooh, let's not tip it here. Or go down the mountainside. Oh, jeez. Oh, connected the winch to the wrong thing. Oh, it is? Okay. If you mean in the game, GOP, I'm still in Michigan. <laughs> I haven't. I think I've been to Alaska in this game um, once, and that was just during the tutorial. <laughs> I've just been doing all the missions in Michigan, and I haven't played a ton of it, so. Oops, I just shut off the, the engine. <laughs> I mean, is it false advertising? <laughs> the title says slipping in mud. It doesn't say slipping in snow. <laughs> yeah, the game's <laughs> Snow Runner. I mean, I can't really <laughs> do anything about that. <laughs> Actually, I think I think there's a lot of people that um, are interested to see how this runs on PS5 because the when we streamed this last time and I uploaded the stream to YouTube, it already has over 150 views, which isn't 
a lot in like YouTube views, but it's a lot for my channel. <laughs> oh yeah, L1 in circle. Thanks for that. That's why I turned off my engine earlier, because I did L1 and X. <laughs> Trying to turn the lights on. Mud Runner was actually the um, the title of the first game. This is a sequel to that, I believe. Wow, this truck gets through that little area so so easily. Gonna cut this corner right here. <laughs> True. Hold on, let me adjust the audio real quick. I don't know why this isn't letting me adjust the filters. All right, that should be a little bit quieter. <laughs> There's snow in SnowRunner, I just never go there. <laughs> I never go into the, the Alaska maps yet. truck <laughs> you know I've never actually played Binding of Isaac where that I assume that's the Binding of I, I, I assume that's Isaac from the game, that emote. I've never played it before. I'm not a big fan of roguelites. Oh, it is? Okay, yeah, that's what it looked like. Ooh, don't hit the stump. Oh, I hit the stump. Stream Binding of Isaac? I don't know. It's not really my type of game. The only like roguelites or, or roguelikes um, I've played are Moonlighter. Um, I played a little bit of Hades. I have that on Switch. But I can't stream that. Um, what other roguelites have I played? Can't think of any others off the top of my head. Oh. I always forget I go around this place. Oh yeah, I assume I assume um, it's good. I just never, never got into it. I guess. <laughs> Let's go around here. Is this the way? Oh wow. I didn't realize how how close I was. What do you mean, GOP? What's what's to understand? <laughs> All 
Alright, off to Island Lake. This will give you a good chance to see how quick the load times are now on, on PS5. That was like 15 seconds. That was crazy. Oh, the appeal? I don't know. I, I enjoy this type of game just because it's very slow. I can just jump into it whenever I want um, and just pick up back where I was. Is this a gas tank? Oh, a fuel carrier. Cool. So I think I'm going to go up and get this abandoned drill. And then we have a gas tanker right there. Let's do that. Turn on the headlights. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Yeah, these new tires are great. Handle way better in the mud compared to the highway tires. I need to fix this bridge. I need to go get some wood to fix the bridge. So I think, isn't there a lumber mill here? Yeah, a sawmill. So I can go get some wood from there. Let me go do that. Let's jackknife the trailer real quick. There we go. <laughs> Just ram it off a tree. Oh, this truck only has four gears. Whoa, back on the road. Get up there. All right, let me accept this task. A certain company made the town an attractive offer, the basis of which has absolutely nothing to do with drilling for oil on public land. All they're asking for is a bridge for their supplies and total silence. You in? Start tracking. Yeah, so we just need two wooden planks. So let me go grab those. I know I built these bridges to get to the sawmill, so we can get there pretty quickly.
Yeah. Yeah, I, I rebuilt the bridges here, so that's good. We should be able to go get two planks of wood and get back to the bridge with enough um, fuel easily. I mean, I like this game because it's sort of like I said. I said it last time I streamed this, but it's it's pretty much like a puzzle game. Also, I have to figure out and get through things and use certain different items and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't want manual manual loading. Let's grab two of those, and we can head out back there. I think maybe. Yeah, I think maybe I'll go around that way. Nah, it's probably easier to turn around. We'll just turn around, go back the way we came. This trailer's kind of not in the best position. <laughs> We're just going to drive right over it, I guess. Or drag it with us. right there. Yeah, these tires are great. I don't even have all-wheel drive on. And it's just plowing through the mud. We still have more than half a tank. Almost half a tank, but <laughs> still more than. there just have to get through this last little muddy muddy spot and we can repair that bridge and then we'll probably turn left and go no we'll probably go go up and get the mining equipment and then come back down and we'll we'll fuel up from that trailer on the way back there
There we go. And we got a thousand dollars for that. Turn down the game volume because this truck is just so loud. <laughs> and we're we're constantly on the accelerator, so just gonna hear it <laughs> rumbling the whole time. We'll turn down the game volume. So let's pick up this drilling equipment. Oh, I wonder if I need a crane. Hopefully not. Not enough space? Oh man, this isn't even the right trailer. Damn it. <laughs> I need an actual flatbed. Oh, well at least we repaired that bridge. Elite Star is over there. Do I have any trailers near here? Fuel trailer, heavy duty low boy trailer. Oh, that's what's on there. I need... I need that semi-trailer. Alright, I'm just gonna leave the P12 there. And I'm going to take the Fleet Star and hopefully make it to this fuel carrier. And then we'll come down to the sawmill. Yeah, we'll come down to the sawmill and get that flatbed trailer. And then that should be able to carry the mining equipment. Oh, wait. Oh, there's not an easy way to get here. I could try and winch through. Maybe. We'll try. If anything, it'll be funny because I'll get wicked stuck. <laughs> Although the water does look really deep. <laughs> Turn all-wheel drive on for this. I, don't, I think I just have regular highway tires on this truck. So this probably won't end well. But it might. It looks like there might be enough areas to winch to. That we can sort of drag ourselves through. But we're really low on gas. Um, <laughs> driving right into a stump. There we go. Got over that little tree. Oh, now we're hitting something else. Alright, this is definitely a bad idea. <laughs> At least I have a snorkel on this truck. Alright, where's the winch point? There it is. Oh, we pulled that right over. All right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'll turn around, Jupiter. This, <laughs> this was not a good idea. We're just gonna waste a bunch of fuel getting out of here now. Let's see if I can pull myself out off the telephone pole. I think I'm stuck on this tree now. So let me pull myself sideways a little bit. There we go. <laughs> yeah, mistakes were made. <laughs> Oh, 
Nothing a, nothing a good winch can't solve. Unless I rolled over. <laughs> and then unscrewed. Alright, let me attach the front of the truck. Sort of. There we go. All right, so we have nine gallons of gas. Is this a fuel carrier? It is. Okay, we can try. <laughs> we can try and make it to there. Because I think there's some fuel left in it. I've only used it a couple times, so there should be plenty, plenty fuel left in it. Yeah, these tires are horrible <laughs> for this deep mud. Just a random frame. Okay. Alright, we have enough fuel to get out here. Whoa! This truck just takes off in second gear. Oh! Alright, refuel. Alright. Now... I'm thinking we go, we go down here, go through here, take this left, and then take a right, and go all the way around, come down to the sawmill, get that trailer. That's the plan. We'll see how well executed it is. <laughs> I don't even know if this truck will have enough power to haul the semi-trailer with the mining equipment on it. It probably won't. <laughs> Especially in this mud. It's too bad you can't put a, a low boy attachment on the P12. Or the P16, really. P16 would be awesome with a low boy attachment. We're gonna change music because this thing, this song is insane. The heck is this? Do this one. Oh, that worked that time. That was weird. Alright, there we go. Don't need like hard style music for <laughs> doing some trucking. Oh boy. You know what? Let's just... Oh, wrong. I'm just gonna recover this to the garage. And then we're going to take a different truck. Because <laughs> this truck is not prepared for what we're trying to do with it, I don't think. 
I mean, at the very least, I could upgrade its tires. But it might make more sense to take out the Western Star. If I just put some better tires on it, maybe? Get some off-road tires. Good in the mud, excellent off-road. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And then this should be able to put a low boy trailer on it. Or a, like a semi-trailer, so. Okay, uh. I know these cost 600 bucks more, but I'm gonna get these things. And then we will... I don't have enough money to get the extended winch. And we're, we haven't unlocked the differential lock. But we do have all-wheel drive, so that's good. Frame add-on, flatbed. Oh, you can put a loading crane on this thing. Alright, and then we need a low set or a high saddle? The semi-trailer takes a high saddle, right? Or a low. I think it's a low saddle. We already have it unlocked, so that's good. Alright, let's take this puppy out. And then just to be sure... Yep, I can put a flatbed on it. Yeah, because if I got the high saddle, you can't then put the flatbed semi-trailer on it, I believe. Okay. Let's get this over to Island Lake. And we'll go the same way we went with the other truck. Down on like the right side of the map. And then across the river. Through the woods. To Island Lake we go. Oh boy, fish tailing. Oh boy. Oh. Hold it in. <laughs> Might as well just fuel up the tank. It's only two gallons, but why not? Oh, don't hit the pole. It's a very long truck. I like how his tool, uh, tool, dual tires in the back spreads out the weight. And I'd say it's probably a lighter truck than the P12, so it's probably a little bit more maneuverable, especially when it doesn't have a trailer on it. And it has five gears. Interesting.
you know, playing this game, it, like, my finger starts to cramp up because probably, like, 98% of the time you're playing this game, you're just holding down R2. <laughs> my finger starts to cramp up. I have to keep switching them. It's a very stable truck, too, since it has dual, dual tires on the back. Yeah, this truck is great so far. Glad you guys told me to get it. Come on, truck. Man, this thing got muddy fast. <laughs> Whoa. Swinging around here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just murdered that tree. Jesus. <laughs> just clobbered it over. Slow it down there. Uh, out of my way, tree. Pop the back end up in the air. Yeah, it's crazy what a difference the off-road tires make compared to the highway tires. I was always reluctant to buy new tires just because I've always been trying to save up for new trucks and stuff because they cost so much. Um, but definitely with newer tires, that handle better in the mud or wherever wherever else you're driving you're able to do missions quicker because <laughs> you're not getting stuck as much which means you're making making money faster and I always cut through here rather than going over through that water wonder if most people do that too Where does that go off to? Oh, it just goes around there. Interesting. Go truck, go! Look at it just plow through that mud. This thing's a beast. Oh, I think that water's too deep. I don't have the snorkel on this thing. So let me cut through here again like we did with the other truck. I should have looked to see if I could have bought the snorkel for this. Would have been a good idea before we left the garage. Whoa!
It is Friday. It's amazing. It's felt like a really long week to me. I don't know about you guys. Just had a ton of meetings at work and stuff. It seemed like it took up most of my week. But finally the weekend. I can finally really relax. I have no plans for this weekend. At least I don't think. Not that I can remember. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. <laughs> Alright, off to Island Lake. Alright, so we're going to go to the sawmill to the left here and go get that flatbed trailer. And then we can head up to one of the drilling sites to get the drilling equipment. I'm really interested to see how this truck handles. Um, with the trailer and a heavy load on it. It seems like it has a good amount of power, but it'll be interesting to see. Because I imagine the mining equipment, or the drilling equipment, sorry, is going to be quite heavy. Oh, all-wheel drive's off. I wish it kept all-wheel drive on when you switch between maps. I always forget that, that it, like, turns it off. Sort of it just, like, resets your truck. drive off. Oh no. That was a close one. Am I? I have to flip this thing, don't I? I might be able to do it with the winch. Or I might just be able to drive into the tires. Let me try that first. No. Alright, let me try and winch it. Patch it to the opposite side. Come on. Perfect. Let's plan a little bit where we're going to go. So we're over here now. Let's clear that route. We're over here. So we could... We could go to the farthest drill site. Sideboard semi-trailer. I think this is a fuel. There is a fuel tanker up there. Or we could just go to this one. What's this trailer? Semi-trailer. Oh, there's more fuel right there, too. Where do I need to bring the drilling equipment, though? Does this tell me? First, we're going to need you to get rid of some old equipment that's in the way. Deliver to the warehouse. Oh, so I have to bring them all the way back there. Okay. Okay. So I, I think I'm going to go get the farthest one first. Or at least attempt to. So let me set some waypoints. Death Stranding. Uh, 
Otherwise, I go off track. I think we're gonna have to take a yep, take a right here. Oh, oh no, we're gonna have to repair that bridge. So I'll take some wood with me since we're at the sawmill already. And I think I'm gonna get three wooden planks just in case, because that looks like a little bit of a longer bridge. Wow, this will hold five of them. Should I get three or more? Ugh. Hopefully I accepted this mission and I can check. Oh, I didn't. I'll take four just in case. I don't think it'll be more than four. Watch it be five. <laughs> Alright, so we got four wood. Come on, trailer. There you go. Oh, and this thing's towing it like nothing. Now we just need to worry about having gas to get there. At least the roads are a little drier. They aren't real muddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down. Slow it down. Don't need to fall in the water. Yeah, this truck is great. I'm really impressed with it. Oh, look at that. There's a <laughs> there's a trailer with some wood in it. Oh no, those are those are metal beams, aren't they? Yeah, that's just a one pack of steel beams. Let me just get this task. All right, get that task so we can track it easier. Finally starting to cool down my area of the world. It's weird, it's like we had no fall. <laughs> it went from like really a really nice summer and then like a really warm fall. So it sort of just felt like a continuation of summer. <laughs> and now it's like 30. <laughs> 30s, 20s at night. which, I mean, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I hope we have a quick winter, though. I don't look forward to the snow anymore, like you do when you're a kid. So now I have to plow my driveway, and it's just a headache, you know? Wow, we're actually already here. Oh, is this a little fuel tra- I think that's a little fuel trailer. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, we still have plenty. Maybe we'll get that trailer on the way back. this playlist much better than the old one. The other one was a little too electric heavy. <laughs> a little too intense for a uh, truck hauling stream. <laughs> Would have been good with like a, a multiplayer game, but for this, not necessary. Need some testing, you guessed it. Another bridge to get our equipment there. Can you count on you? Yes, you can. Hopefully it was only four wood.
Yeah, this truck has so much power. It's awesome. All right, please, only four wooden planks. Oh yeah, I have to track the mission first, I think, right? Oh, only two. Cool. No need to bring all four, but I can always just lose the cargo once we get to the mining equipment. Oh, and let me go back to the other mission. Just start tracking that again. It's funny how you bring brand new wooden planks, like these, probably either six by sixes or eight by eights, <laughs> brand new clean wood and then it builds the bridge and it's just messy. <laughs> it's already weathered wood. Oh, let me unload the cargo. There we go. One drilling equipment. Yeah, that's pretty big. Alright, let's turn it around. Hopefully we don't tip it. Oh, it's gonna hit that tree. Come on, get right by the tree. There we go. Alright, we should be able to get out here. Unless I hit this tree. Nope, just squeaked by it. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa. Let's do a little first person for a little bit. I always like the, the little touches they added, like seeing the sun visor right there, like shaking from the bumps and stuff. It's always cool. See little things like that. Oh, I need to shift to low. Come on. Come on. Winch it. Come on, truck, you can do it. Oh, there we go. I think he kept shifting in the second and we would lose all momentum and get stuck. All right, back to first person. Whoa! <laughs> Can you change it to like a uh, manual so that it doesn't shift for you i've never looked in the settings for that because like if he just stayed in first or second gear right now it'd be pretty good although he's doing a little better now shifting actually we didn't use very much fuel at all so i think i might just go all the way to the warehouse this truck is really fuel efficient, considering how much it's the hauling, <laughs> and it's just in constant all-wheel drive. Doing really well.
Yeah, it's it's still it's surprising how well it does on gas. Make sure I'm going yeah, going the right way. I think we'll be able to get all the way to the warehouse without fueling up anywhere. Woohoo! Don't go over the side. Is there a mod on PC to play this in VR? That'd be really interesting. Be able to just turn your head to look at the mirrors and stuff. There must be. I don't think that's the way. Yeah. Yeah, if we go down here, take a right, and then we can go up this way. Go back down, hit the warehouse. And then if we really need fuel, we can come up here through the woods for this uh, semi-trailer. Turn the headlights on. Make it a little easier to see. I'm really glad this runs, this game's uh, SnowRunner runs a lot better on PlayStation 5. And they haven't even like patched in any specific like next gen type stuff, you know? It's just all backwards compatible. Um, I'm really impressed. I'm glad it, it runs at like a consistent FPS now. So when I was playing on PlayStation 4 Pro before, um, there was like frame rate hitches all the time and it would have really bad slowdowns on the map. It's definitely a lot smoother now. Really enjoyable. Alright, go right towards the lumber mill. And we're almost to the warehouse and we've only used just going from the sawmill to get the equipment and back to the sawmill we've used like maybe 15 gallons i'm really impressed with the the fuel efficiency of this truck i'm glad we found it or <laughs> i'm glad you told me to find a jupiter <laughs> i would have kept using the p12 and p16 just chugging through the fuel <laughs> Big bump. Don't slide off the road here. Come on. You can do it. Alright, and I need to... is it this right? Yeah, this is the right, and then I need to go left. Alright, I mean, I could go right too, but... be more direct if I go... go left. For the past couple months, I had been using... just some in-ear... earbuds. Um to listen to the audio and I recently bought some open back headphones um, I think they were Panasonic and 
I really like them. I kind of wanted the open back headphones so that I could still hear what's going on around me. I didn't want like noise canceling or anything like that. And I'm really impressed by them. I should add them into the um, Amazon widget I have on my Twitch about page. Has all my all the stuff I stream on and everything like that. So I really like them. Yeah, these new tires on this truck, amazing. <laughs> getting this stuff so quick the highway tires I would have been winching the whole way here all right we got one delivered and now I think, I mean, I might be able to make it, I probably could make it all the way up here to this fuel carrier, pick up this um, drilling equipment, and then come back all the way down. I think that's what we'll do. Oh, there's a little one right here too. Okay. But yeah, I think I have more than enough fuel to get get to this one. So let's do that. Just have to turn around. Twenty four gallons. Yeah, we probably have enough. Especially with no um no weight on this trailer anymore. Ooh, I just ran into that concrete foundation. I didn't realize it was sticking out of the ground that much. Alright, off we go to get the second drilling equipment. I'm surprised we actually got that first drilling equipment without any any mistakes or mishaps. <laughs> it went really smooth. I bet you the bigger tires on this are even better. Because these are just 43 inch tires. And the upgraded ones are 47 inch, so you get a little more clearance. And you can also get a lift fit, lift, a lift kit for this truck, um, but I don't know if I would, because it's pretty stable right now. I feel like putting the lift kit on it will make it more top heavy, and more likely to tip over. I, I like the performance of it right now. right here yeah right and then we'll take a left here and then take a right here and then we'll decide if we want to go left or right here oh I just got rid of that we'll decide if we want to go left to the fuel or right and just grab it and get fuel on the way back so I'm just gonna put a point there so we know to figure out what we need to do then When I saw the first couple trailers for this game before it came out, I wasn't too too hyped for it, and I really didn't think it would be like a game that I, I would enjoy. And at the time, um, 
I think Death Stranding had been out or was about to come out and I was really hyped for that game and then when I got it I, re I really loved Death Stranding I thought the the mechanics and everything were good and obviously it was a, a like a crazy ass story from, <laughs> from Ko Kojima but um, I liked building everything and like b building bridges and stuff like that so then when SnowRunner came out with that trailer that like pretty much compared it to Death Stranding and they they like marketed it in the same way where like oh you're building bridges and you're restoring the land it, it really <laughs> it got me um and I like really kept a close eye on that one once that tra <laughs> on the game once that once they put that trailer out so whoever at their marketing department really needs a uh, a pat on the back for that <laughs> That was a great trailer. Alright, I think we will turn left here and get fuel. So I don't wanna... You know what? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going left. I was gonna say we could... Yeah, we'll go left. I was thinking we could get the P12 and just fuel up from the P12. Um, but we'll just go left here and fuel up real quick. It's a good spot for it, for the fuel trailer. Jeez, I love music like this. Especially like listening to music like this on like road trips. It's like the best. Whoa, watch out. I think I'm gonna turn around first without the mining equipment. Just so we're lined up to just head on out. Wow, it's so sloppy right there. Start turning around the trailer. Well, there's deer setting off my doorbell. <laughs> All right, one drilling equipment, and back to the warehouse. It's too bad I drove that P12 out there with the trailer. I wish I had known I couldn't pick up this container with that trailer. Alright, and after we do this mission... It'll unlock a couple other missions, so that's cool. We're getting close to finishing... Well, we're not really close at all, but <laughs> we're making progress towards finishing all the missions in, in Michigan. The Michigan maps. I still have a while to go, but it's pretty cool. I like just making slow, steady progress. Hey, Brain. How are you doing? All right, through the mud. I'm good. How are you? Ooh, we almost tipped the trailer there. We still might. Come on, baby. There we go.
Ooh, cut that corner a little too, a little too sharp. Did you have my, my stream muted again, Brain? <laughs> can, can you hear me now, Brain? off to the warehouse then the next drilling equipment isn't too isn't too far away I'm glad we started with the started with the farthest one gonna swipe this telephone pole I wonder how this game sold. I'm sure it did well, but I'm interested how many copies they sold. I'd imagine it had to be over a million. I think they, they probably hit over a million easily, especially with the support they've been showing it and all the mods that everyone's create that everyone are creating. Looks like there's a pretty big community for it. I don't think these containers of drilling equipment are as heavy as I thought they were. Or this truck just has really good power. Could could be either. I mean, it could be a combination of the power doesn't weigh as much and the, the new mud tires. I suppose. All right, done with that one. Now, what would be the best way to go up here? Did I ever? Yeah, that bridge is repaired. Oh no, this one's not repaired. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna go to the right here towards the sawmill and then we'll come up because we'll get some, some planks from there so that we can repair this bridge on the way. And then I think also, I think I'm going to go over here and just fill up quickly off that little trailer. So let's go right here. You still there, Brain? <laughs> Did you ever figure out if you can hear me? <laughs> never been this way before a little muddier and a lot of trees strewn across can I go through these fences oh yeah man <laughs> just bust them up all right let's refuel from here I went the wrong way. There we go. Oh, a little bit of vocals in this song. Sharp turn. Oh, we almost made it by the tree. There we go.
on the road again ain't no turning back on the road again did I ever accept this mission let me just check that oh no I did buddy of mine found an abandoned trunk since I got time figured you might uh, okay so I just have to get a truck just wanted to make sure I accepted it so I could find it in the menu. Oh, there's light. There's like a house out there. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, that's just the warehouse. <laughs> Fool. Whoa. All right, we'll pick up. I think I'm only going to pick up two planks because the other two bridges that we've repaired so far have only needed two planks. So I think we'll just do two. Let's load up those two. Well, maybe I should do three. I don't know. Oh wait, I might have already accepted the mission. Bridge the gap. That'd be, oops. That'd be over. Yeah, bridge the gap. Start tracking. Yeah, just two wood, wood planks. Cool. Quick way to check. Start tracking this one again. Oh no, wrong one. Instruments. There we go. All right. Okay, pretty self-explanatory way to go. Yep. Oops. I always accidentally place waypoints in this game. Because I, I, I instantly want to hit R2 and L2 on the menu to zoom in and out. Wish I could change those keybinds. I think I go this way. Yep, up there would be up towards that area. off the road here. All right, down this hill. And actually, I should show the task so that I can track it. Otherwise, I won't be able to deposit the two wooden planks. There we go. We'll probably get like a thousand bucks from this too. 900. <laughs> Close enough. Alright, let me switch back to that mission that we were doing. We'll go get this last drilling equipment. I like the missions that are contained to the same map. So you can get them done relatively quickly. Relative to this game. <laughs> 
This will take us um, probably two hours by the time we're finished here. Just to get this one mission done. Although we did mess up with the bringing the P-12 with the smaller trailer and stuff like that. Whoa, this thing's tippy. Don't tip, don't, oh, good. Oh, no, 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 no. And then I think we'll go left at the, oh, no. We'll go left at the top of the hill. So I think it'll probably be, yeah, if we go left around this way, I'd say that'll probably be closer. By just a little bit, maybe. the hill. Go truck, go. Downshift. There you go. You have to let go of the uh, accelerator once in a while or else they keep trying to stay in the upper gears. We're going to turn right the last minute. Might have to shift to low here. Maybe. Oh, it's running up on that rock. Right, come on trailer no 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 winch it winch it oh i winched the wrong way oh boy oh boy nope not that winch very man after all the good <laughs> after all the good luck we were having oh there's the winch point all right winch her down oh no Um, okay. I mean, I guess we can just go back down to the mining site, right? And just pick up another? So I do not want to go get a crane, put it back on the trailer. Come on, trailer. Turn around. There we go. So yeah, this this mission will definitely take, by the time we're done with it, two hours. <laughs> After this little mishap. Oh no. Get around the tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, I keep reversing the wrong way. It's weird looking like... Like reversing a trailer in real life. Easier to get the angles right, because I can like... That's just the way my brain works, but looking at the truck in reverse. So if I look this way, I should be able to back it up better. Hopefully. <laughs> Although it is different because it's like a different attachment point. I've never backed up like a fifth wheel. Let me go this way. Should make it go, yeah, that way. If I go this way. Okay. I really just want to turn around.
Oh, perfect. Just plow that tree over. Alright, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> that mining or drilling equipment. And we'll just go pick up another one. We still have plenty of gas, so we don't need to worry about that. Let me start turning around. There we go. I wonder if the, the semi-trailer with the sideboards would have contained that a little better rather than just the straps. wonder if it would have stayed in inside the trailer. Just ignore that. Actually, can I... Can I tell that to remove? Oh, I can. Um, there we go. Just get it out of the world. So it's not wasting resources drawing it. Alright, so we'll try and make a, a bit of a wider turn here. So that we don't tip the trailer again. Although maybe I should just go right. Nah, I don't think I will. I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, it's going to tip again, isn't it? Hold on. What if... We attach that to... To that? keep the trailer okay and then we attach the back of the trailer put the parking brake on oh I can't reach up there um let's just try and drive it out try and just go forward a little bit oh yeah perfect Success. Now just take it easy. Smooth sailing from here on out. Stop your bouncing. Slow it down. Oh yeah, Jupiter, the Western Star is amazing. <laughs> Thanks for telling me to go get it. The like the the fuel economy on it, the power, the handling with these mud tires, it's amazing. It's really good. Has a really long wheelbase, so it can get through. Oh. Heck am I stuck on? Oh, the trailer's stuck on the tree. Gotta back up a little bit. Oh yeah, fully upgrade. I was thinking, it, would it we... Did you put the, um, the lift kit on it? So I'm wondering if the lift kit makes it too, um, like too wobbly with the higher weight or is the lift kit really good to get through the uh, deeper deeper mud pits 
because I typically put the lift kit on everything, but I don't know about this one. Oh, it has a low center of gravity too? Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely look out for the lift kit then. Okay. Yeah, I should go and get its, um, its upgrades out in the map. Just take the trailer off and go. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, especially the, um, the dual tires in the back. The handling's amazing. Oh, okay, the bigger tires and the raising it up helps. Okay. Just have this last drilling equipment to deliver, then we're done with this mission. into first person for a little bit. Keep an eye on the trailer so it doesn't tip. Finding the off-road transmission will help. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look for, for all the parts for this. Because I do really like it. It's a nice truck. complete. So we got just about 6,000 for that. And the warehouse is opened. So what can we get here? We can get more drilling equipment. And that's it. Huh. So I wonder if there's a mission that we have to bring drilling equipment to or something. Um, out with the old. That's locked. Oh, I can sell all the- oh yeah, that's a good idea. I could sell all the trailers around the map. So I don't- I don't need just random trailers everywhere, besides the fuel ones. I like- I like having the random fuel trailers everywhere. Deliver to the port drilling equipment. The old drills you've helped us recover are now packed up for shipment. All that's left is to get them over to Drummond Island's port and get them off our hands. Get that done so we can bring in the new gear. Okay, let's do that one. Since we're here, we'll just pick up another um, drilling equipment. And then we're going to Drummond Island. So that's just all the way this way. So we can do that, and we can stop off for some fuel right there. That little trailer. So let's head there. I 
I wonder if the devs for this game have like said anything about creating patches for the PS5 or the Series X. So it'd be cool if they were looking at making like further enhancements. Oh, I could get fuel right there too, in that little trailer, but 40 gallons should be more than enough to get to the other little fuel trailer we're going to, midway through the map. Got this tight corner right here. Slide it off that tree. Well, maybe not. Thought it would slide a little better than that. Let me attach a winch to the back of it. Maybe I can pull it a little bit. No, 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 don't tip. Alright, back up a little bit. Make a bit of a wider turn. There we go. That's more than enough. There we go. Perfect. Whoa. Has there always been birds in this game? What the heck? <laughs> I don't remember there being birds. <laughs> that was so weird. It's too bad you can't um, activate the horn quicker. So you could like, bam, bam. You can only really do like a bam, bam. I'd like to be a bam, 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 bam. No. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Get back over there. It's starting to rain, making a little more mud. going over the oh no 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 is this on the bridge Ooh. thought this thing was gonna be sliding off the bridge and <laughs> tip over come on truck what are you doing spinning a little bit it's weird it's like this this container feels like it's heavier almost compared to when I brought the drilling equipment to the warehouse it's like they packed more shit in it <laughs> They're like ah oh, that truck handled it easily we can fit double Slow it down, slow it down. 
this truck gets into like fourth or fifth gear and it just <laughs> takes off. Yeah, I'd like to put the snorkel on this too. Be able to go through a little bit deeper water, not worry. All right, we're about a quarter mile away from the fuel tanker. So we're gonna have to take a left once we hit that. Go down into that little yard. No, that's not it. It's this one up here. Come on, buddy, you can make it up the hill. It's going to be interesting pulling this through Drummond Island. It's a lot of tight turns there. And getting this to the port... Um, it's going to be hairy. <laughs> Especially with trying to get it there without tipping it over and losing it off the trailer. It'll be interesting. <clears throat> Alright, so if we go down there... We can get this fuel trailer. Unless there's one farther up. There is this one. That's a ways away. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just pop the trailer off here. Uh, detach trailer. And just go get the fuel, and then come back out. Easy peasy. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Oh, just rammed into that. All right. Oh, I don't think I'm close enough. Hold on. Let's get alongside it. That should be good enough. Refuel. There we go. Excuse me while I shill out for the stream, but if you're new to the stream, I stream around 3 p.m. during the week, so Monday through Friday, and then during the weekend I do earlier streams around 7 a.m. EST. So be sure to follow so you can be notified when I go live. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, be sure to like and subscribe. It all helps out. You can do exclamation YouTube or Twitter or Discord in the Twitch chat and you'll get a link to all those things. Or you can go to my Twitch about page and there's a link to all three of those also. You don't have to be a sub to join the Discord. So yeah, it's all appreciated. I appreciate you guys just watching anyways. Thanks for that.
All right, so we got just about a fuel, uh, a fuel, a full tank of gas. So we'll be able to make it to Drummond Island, and then we'll probably need gas once we get there. But there is a gas station, or fuel station, pretty close to the entrance of that map, so we should be all set. As long as we don't tip this trailer and lose the cargo. Oh, it's raining again. Yeah, I rarely need to shift to low in this truck. Power is incredible. sure this is the right yeah okay this goes down here to the antenna okay we just need to go straight Also, you can request songs um, if you're watching on desktop on the right side of the stream where like those little widgets come out um, there's one for prime gaming but then right below that there's one that looks like a clef note or not a clef note um, get what it would be, be called but just a normal music note and click on that and I believe it's called like pretzel pretzel labs or something like that no, not Pretzel Labs. What's this thing called? Pretzel Rocks. You should be able to go there, and it, you can pick from a bunch of different um, copyright-free music, and you can... I think it's like 100 bits or something like that to request to play the next song. If you're on mobile, I believe if you... Where is it on mobile? I think it shows up on the chat. Um like to the right of the chat if you swipe over near the about section. I'll have to look that up some other time to check. All right, off to Drummond Island. Man, those loads are amazing. So, so much better than the, the previous consoles. All right, let's map out where we're going. Um, regular trailer there. So if we go this way, can't go across there. We're going to have to go all the way through here. And I, oh, I didn't repair the bridge. Oh, no. I can cut through here, though. Probably. I might be able to work out a way through there. I accept this. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Shucks. Um, we could just drive like all the way to this little drop-off area, and we could drop the trailer there. And then work on fixing the bridge. But I'm just not sure what the bridge needs to be fixed. <clears throat> um, but we could risk it. We could try and go... We could try and go down here and make it across. But I feel like if we do that, we're definitely going to tip the trailer. So let's just drive out there. And we'll figure it out once we get there. So let me plan out the route a little bit. We could cut through here. Save on some gas. If 
we already oh we have to go back and turn around i guess but we could cut through here let's try that cut through that little foresty area Yeah, I wish there was a garage on this, this map. Alright, there we go. Through that area. Now through the mud pit. Oh yeah, all wheel drives off. I, re I wish they would change that. <laughs> Switch maps and keep all-wheel drive on if it's on. Alright, and then we could go down here and try and cut through. I th Yeah, we'll do it. We have enough gas if we didn't want to, but... Why not? We'll cut through here. Just have to pick the right spot. Tourist attraction. Um, okay, so there's just a, a road over there. Cool. Oh, accidentally placed a waypoint. Let's see if I collected this. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a close one. Alright, I think if we just go through here, and go up the little hill, we should have more than enough power to get through. It's just the stump. Hopefully we don't hit it. There we go. Oh, let me back up. Make this a wider turn. So I do not want to lose this cargo <laughs> over the side here. Oh, this is going to be close. Hopefully. No, 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 no. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was so close. Ooh, and there was nothing really to winch onto if it started a tip. That was lucky. All right, am I going the right way? I definitely am. And I'm going to skip this song. There we go. Just sounded like people... <laughs> talking in an airport. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go over this bridge. We'll take a left to go down to the fuel station. We'll fill up. And then keep going. Eventually we're going to have to drop the tra oh, trailer off so that we can work on that bridge. Whoa. Flying down the hill a little bit. Might have to shift. Uh, oh, no, we're good. I was thinking we might have to shift to low gear there, but everything worked out. Alright, and I think we go down... Yeah, we go down this hill, and then the fuel station's right on the right there.
There we go. Hold for refuel. All right, so if we go, we go left, go over the bridge, we go right here. Otherwise, we'd get stuck out there. What's this, a service trailer? Yep. Keep going down here. Yeah, because there's, there's the option of going down this dirt road, going all along, and then cutting up through here. But this is so narrow that I don't think there's any way we're getting through getting through with that uh, with the trailer and container on so I think I think the smart thing to do would be maybe drop the trailer off right in here and then see what it's gonna take to repair this bridge and then we can work on that because we can get supplies if we go out this way and just go to Smithville Dam out through that way it looks like there might be a trailer store right here unless those are just like RVs so let's do that. Sound like a plan? I thought I thought I was already off path. <laughs> drop off in there look at how deep that mud is <laughs> it's almost up to the top of the trailer I mean the uh, the tire crazy but this will get through it there we go I don't remember re repairing this bridge. I don't know if I had to, or if I already did. It sort of looks like it... It was one that you repair with wooden planks. But maybe it's been built all along. <clears throat> All right, good thing I placed this waypoint here, otherwise it would have probably gone left. There's that service trailer we saw on the map. I'm just like stunned how well this <laughs> this truck does. What a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> just been struggling with horrible trucks basically and then Jupiter's just like oh you should get the Western Star <laughs> alright just a little bit more ways to go but we're almost there
Anda pom 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 pom. I think there's a lot of people streaming tonight because my stream doesn't have the options of um different resolutions for you guys to use usually that means there's a lot of um what do they call the people above affiliates uh partners there's a lot of twitch partners streaming so it goes by priority to them first so i'm sorry if it freezes up a little bit for you if you don't have that great of inter internet where my 1080p stream is lagging a little bit for you um Hopefully some encoders open up, start offering my stream a little bit. Speaking of, I wonder when Twitch is going to in increase the bitrate you can stream to them. So right now the limit's 6,000. I put a limit of 4,750 on my stream. So I wonder if they're ever going to increase it. I mean, they have to eventually. Because YouTube's like... Are they 12? No, there's no way they're doubled. They're probably like 8 or 10. Okay, so this bridge needs... Oh, this isn't even for this bridge? Oh, I can go pick that trailer up. Um, okay, so I do need to drop them off here. It is for this bridge. All right, so let's drop this trailer here. So we're going to need it eventually. But in the meantime, we can leave it here until the bridge is repaired. That's a big bridge. No wonder it needs concrete and metal. So we'll put this in the corner here. No, 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 no. Ooh. Imagine getting all this way. <laughs> we tip it at the last second. Try and cut it right in here. Alright, that's good enough right there. Let's stop this thing. Detach. And I think we'll just go where it's telling us to go. We'll come back around here. Oh no, there's a trailer over here. Let's go see what's on that trailer. Unless it's just telling us to pick up a trailer. Which I don't think it is. I think it's telling us there's something on that to pick up. So let's go grab one of those. Bit of a washout on the road there. Alright, hopefully there's some metal beams or concrete slabs. Oh, it looks like metal beams. Cool. Didn't have to go far for those. We're rapidly taking engine damage. Because <laughs> I just keep slamming into everything. Oh, there goes their dumpster. Probably good enough there. Oh yeah. Alright, back to the bridge. Drop this stuff off. And then we'll just need concrete slabs.
And I think I'll sell this trailer. Although, do I need to bring the trailer? I assume I need to bring it to a trailer store to sell it. Unless I can just pop it up on the map and say sell. We'll see after we drop this cargo off. Okay, so if I do like detach trailer, and then if I go to the map, I zoom in on this. Go to the sideboard trailer. That's not it. That one, and then... No, I don't see an option to sell it, so I must have to bring it to either a garage or trailer store. I'm imagining. Alright. So let me attach it again. Just so I can get it out of the way. Is there a trailer store near here? Um, doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna drop it right here. And go get... This trailer, because it must have concrete in it. So if I go up, up, up. Go down here. Go down here. And take a right here. I'll get to... Uncle Cletus's shack. And then we can repair the bridge. Oh. It's crazy how quick this truck is when it's not hauling anything. It just flies. You get up to fifth gear and it's just mowing down the road. Oh, a little slippery on pavement with these tires. Actually, could I cut... No, I can't. I can't cut through there. That'd take forever. It's good that these trailers are all around here with the supplies we need for this bridge. It'll help us finish this mission, bringing the drilling equipment to the port. Whoa! I think we have more than enough gas. I think I'll... I'll abstain from going to the gas station. Oh, I keep hitting the uh, touchpad. There we go. Ooh, this looks really deep. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't at all. Whoa. Slipping around. Oh, yep. There's concrete slabs in that trailer. It's perfect. What's this mission? 
Hey, I'm Chris from Dyson. You ever trust somebody and they lose cargo and now you might get fired? I'm not saying that somebody is my cousin Cletus, but I'm not saying it's not Cletus. Can you find the lost cargo? Oh, I'm already, I already accepted that one. Okay. So let's pick up this trailer. And get on back to the bridge. Oops. There we go. Alright, let me place some waypoints just so I take the right turns. So we go there. I'm gonna go whoop whoop whoop. We go right. Go up here. Alright, and I can figure out the rest. Thanks for watching, everybody. Really appreciate you all being here tonight. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend. If it is the start of your weekend, anyways. <laughs> I know there's some people that work w weekends and stuff like that. Different shifts. I'm not a big fan of these trailers with the, like, movable axle, like the movable front axle. For some reason, I have a hard time backing them up. Can't get the hang of them. left do a little first person truck you can do it slowly moving there we go there we go come on come on come on there we go Looks like he's doing a dance move. <laughs> yeah, it is hard to get this truck stuck. And all we did was put on some mud tires. So I can't imagine how much better it is with the off-road gearing the uh, lift kit, even better, like the 47 inch tires. This truck must be insane. Fully upgraded. <clears throat> Almost there, and then the bridge will be restored. 
and then we can con oh jeez we can continue on the mission let me switch back to third person man this thing needs to get to a garage and repaired <laughs> it's taking so much damage Ooh. Got it. Alright, and we can... Let me drive ahead a little bit more. Oh, can I pick up? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, it needs more? Oh, why would it do that? Just tell me to get two. <laughs> what the heck? Let me detach the trailer. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. Alright, so let's go pick up these trailers, I guess. Um, I don't know if I can... Yeah, I must be able to pick that up. It's just a little trailer, why not? Okay, we'll go... We'll go get that farthest one, um, and we can get fuel on the way. So let me make sure I go down the, that way. Oh no, there's a trailer here. Oh, okay. I'll get that trailer instead, since that one's a little bit closer. So let me go down there. And then... Oh no, those are the two trailers. Okay. I, w <laughs> I was confused, and then I wasn't confused, and then I confused myself. <laughs> so let's go down this way. And we'll come down, and we'll come get fuel. And then we'll go over and get that trailer. Because we're at less than half a tank, so just in case I don't want to run out. Sucks to run out of fuel. And there's just random trailers in the way now. Let me see if I can push this one out of the way. It'll do damage to us, but just get it out of the way. Alright, off to go get more metal beams and concrete blocks. song jams Ooh, my engine is actually at red <laughs> so we're using quite a bit more fuel most likely. Oh wait, there's a service trailer right there. We can uh, repair. Very convenient. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, it's eating through the fuel right now. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna back in. Oh no, don't run. Oof. I thought it was going to roll down the hill. Um, catch trailer. And then repair. Perfect. I'm going to pull it out of here a little bit. Just so it's closer to the road. Right about there. Perfect. Off we go.
Where do you see how close you are to leveling up? Um, trucks, contests, trophies, profile. I don't know. Figure it out later. So I think once we hit level 12, we unlock a few more things. Ooh, that's some deep mud up there. And go off to the left a little bit. I bought Demon Souls for PlayStation 5. Um, right when I got it on the 12th, and I still haven't started it up. I'm excited to play it, but I'm also reluctant to play it. Because <laughs> I've never played a Souls game before. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So maybe we'll start that tomorrow morning. But it might not be a good idea to start out with a Souls game <laughs> right in the right in the morning. I don't want to be frustrated the rest of the day, you know? <laughs> but we'll see. Alright, fuel station. And then I need to go. I could try and cut through there. Oh, I might be able to cut through here. Or, or I could just go around. Nah, let's make it a little fun. We'll try and get through there. Doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Oh yeah, this doesn't look bad at all. Pff, easy peasy. Alright, then we need to go left. Whoa, overcorrection. Then we go down here. The only thing, I hope I can pick up this trailer. It might be too small because it's a scout trailer. I'm not sure if I can tow those. But I guess we'll see. I hate the time trials. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to grab this. With this uh, trailer hitch. Yeah. Ah, shit. Um. And I don't have any... Any trucks down here. For that trailer. Unfortunately. Hmm. I could come up and just get that trailer. Although it looks like there's a little scout there. Maybe... Maybe I can repair that? I'd have to go through that area. And then through there. Yeah, because I can't get through here anywhere. So the only way to get through there is this road. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wish I could pick up that trailer. If I had a crane, I could just lift it off, but... Doesn't look like there's any other trucks around here to find. Shucks. I guess I'll come up here and grab that trailer then. We can at least do that. And then, depending on what else I need, I could go somewhere else and get it. So let me go through here. I'm out. Go there. All the way around, all the way around. Oh, and I have to go all the way up there. Let me put one here. Go through there. 
I'm down here, then it's a uh, straight shot there. Okay. So let's go grab that. I should have known that. I, I mean, I, I was pretty sure I couldn't pick up a scout trailer. I should have just trusted myself. Not even bothered with it. But not a big deal. No time wasted. I mean, <laughs> time wasted, but I don't mind. I'm not in a rush. I always want to turn left here. I should place the waypoint a little further north when I do it. Yeah, with the, once this is lifted, we'll get through this a lot easier. Because we're just pushing the, the mud with our bumper. Or our front fender. No, that's a bumper. Fender's the side. I bet you couldn't put a little flatbed on this. At least I didn't notice it in the op in the customization if I could. But this would be a really good truck to put a flatbed on. Or if it had like a ramp truck, that would be pretty sweet. go to the right a little bit so we don't get too stuck in that mud. It would be cool if you could put like aftermarket parts on the truck too, like if you could add a third um, gas tank, stuff like that. So that would be really sweet if, if you could increase the range of certain vehicles. So if I could like add another 40 gallon tank to this, that would be so cool. Have 120 gallons to fill. Be able to go across like all four Michigan maps without filling up once. Oh, this is steep. Gonna have to go slow on the way back with the trailer. It's a little tight right there. Goes through that like nothing. Look at that. Going a little too fast. <laughs> Just sliding on the mud. Alright. A little bit of a sharp corner there. But we're at the trailer, so we can pick this up. And it actually has metal beams. Which I think is what the scout trailer had, so... In a way, it's almost good that we didn't pick it up. Oh, actually, this has both! Metal beams and, uh, concrete blocks. That's perfect. Exactly what we needed. 
So let's back up and connect to it and head on back to the bridge. There we go. Very intense song for repairing this bridge right now. And we'll go first person. Adds to the intensity. Too bad it wasn't night. Actually, <laughs> let's go to nighttime. Um, how do I change? Oh, triangle. There we go. This is 8 p.m. How is it not darker? Was this 8 p.m. summertime, Michigan? It's crazy. Whoa! Not the cargo. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeez, I shouldn't have been doing first person. Oh man. Let's uh let's make that a little bit of a wider turn there. <laughs> Jeez. We are lucky we didn't just lose that cargo. Oh my god. Alright. Wide turn, wide turn. There we go. <laughs> that would have sucked so bad. <laughs> All right, let's take it slow, take wide turns. Don't want to tip this. All right, we're good. Floor it. Womp womp. Almost through the mud. Whoa, we're going off. Pull that back up. Go to the left as much as we can so that the trailer doesn't slide off that. All right, that's good. Stay left, stay left. Alright, start cutting the wheel. And the trailer's good, cool. We're almost out of here. And then after this, it is smooth sailing to the bridge. And I'm pretty sure I need to take a left here. And then a right. Let me double check. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Oh no, I did. I had to go right. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Should be able to swing this around. There we go. Swinging around town. So we'll repair this bridge and then we'll continue on with the drilling equipment. So we have to bring that to the port. So we're going to complete two missions here relatively quickly. So hopefully we'll get a good chunk of money.
Okay, let me go a little slow here because it is a little narrow. I mean, not really narrow, but with the rocks on the right, I don't want to tip the trailer by dragging it across them. So I'll take it a little slow. So it would be quite unfortunate to dump the trailer <laughs> this far from the bridge. All right, here we go. Bopping along. Cut in here. Oop. What? Is this... Are those cargo not... Are the concrete not packed? What's going on here? Concrete block... Oh! Those are concrete slabs. Oh, okay. I need to go get concrete blocks from somewhere. Oh, just <laughs> slammed in that into that trailer. All right, I'm going to pull forward here and just drop off this trailer. Detach. And where should we get concrete blocks? We're gonna have to go somewhere else because there's no warehouses or anything on this this map. Um, so let's check out Smithfield Dam. Can we get blocks here? Concrete blocks, concrete blocks. I don't think so. I can from Black River. Not, yeah, so so I'm going to have to go to Smithville Dam and then into Black River to get concrete blocks. Okay. So we'll go this way. Yeah, and I'm going to grab one of these trailers. These littler trailers to bring. And then we'll either sell it or, or I don't know, we'll do something with it. Let me just attach the winch to this, kind of try and winch it around to me. Oh, that's going to tip it. Okay, I'll back up to it. <laughs> Is that close enough, you think? Nope. Alright. This should be close enough. There we go. Swing it around. Whoa, trailer! No, 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 no! Oh boy, that's so- oh. That was so close to tipping. Alright, that should be enough to swing it around. Yep. Alright, let's go get some concrete blocks. From Black River. Too bad I didn't um, repair this bridge earlier. This, the drilling equipment mission would have been a lot faster. Okay, so I need to swing around the pavement and get on that road.
I'm not sure where I pick up concrete blocks from in Black River. Might be the warehouse? If I'm remembering right. Right, this is the oh yeah it's the right way and I'm gonna need gas eventually so hopefully I can just make it through what's that thing down there special cargo huh must have to get that for a mission And I don't think I had to repair this bridge. I think this bridge was just already there. this song. Smithville Dam. Alright, so where'd this- oh, this drops it off over here. Okay. Oh wait, can I get- No, Smithville Dam doesn't have- this warehouse doesn't have concrete blocks. I don't think. Wait, is that concrete blocks or bricks? What's the icon? Oh, it switched the, um, the mission. Let me go back to that. Heavy burden? Nope. Oh, I have to go to that map first. Drummond Island, and then it gives me- yeah, there we go. Um... Ten hut. Track that. Okay, con okay, those are bricks. Those are- Okay. Global map. Yeah, those are bricks. The whoops. The concrete blocks are right there next to the wrench on Black River. Okay. We only have one more mission for the, the regional progress. We just have the drilling operation. That's cool. I'm excited. Alright, so Black River. So we need to go. We just follow the pavement down, wind down, keep going, we can get f oh no that's a normal trailer, we can get fuel somewhere, we can probably get fuel from the garage, I can probably make it all the way there, because it's pretty, pretty quick to get down this mountain, usually. If I'm going the right way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa, buddy.
All right, down the mountain we go. I think we have 41 gallons left. I think we'll have... Hopefully we have enough to get to the garage and fuel up, and then we can continue on to Black River for the concrete blocks. I think we should have more than enough fuel to get there. As long as we have no mishaps or rollovers, we should be, we should be good. Whoa! Get back on the road, you. The um, mud tires are a little slicker on the asphalt. Oof, my shoulder is cracked. Alright, let's slow down a little bit so we get on this bridge. Do not want to fall off it. <laughs> I haven't fallen off it yet, and I have no plans to fall off it in the future. So we'll just take it slow every time I go to it. Do a little first person. Whoa! That was a mistake. <laughs> Just had to itch my ear and run right into a telephone pole. Not gonna lie, I almost just drove right off that cliff. <laughs> I thought the road just dipped down a little bit. Hey Jonathan, we are currently going to Black River to get some concrete blocks so that we can fix a bridge in the Drummond Island map. And then once we fix the bridge, we can continue um, towing a drilling equipment shipping container to the port to finish off a mission. So that's what's currently going on. What's going on with you? <laughs> Hope you're having a good Friday. Oh, smashed into that guardrail. We're using more gas, or more uh, fuel now, since our engine is pretty damaged. But I still think we'll have enough fuel to at least get to a place where we can fill up. Takes so long to get down this mountain. <laughs> so twisty and tur uh, curvy coming down it. Oh, sorry about that. It's Streamlabs thought um, now.gunna was um, a link just because there wasn't a space. Um, yeah, but I, I still see your message. It just basically timed you out for a second and purged the message, but but that's cool that you bought it. Yeah, I bought it when it first came out, um, whenever that was. Was that the beginning of this year? God, this year it seems so long because <laughs> of Corona. But yeah, if it, you bought it on sale, that's awesome. I haven't even bought any of the DLC or anything and I'm still in Michigan. <laughs> Actually, can I see how long I've played? I probably can somewhere. Oh. oh yeah, the PS5, you can see that now. Let me go to profile. 
games. I played SnowRunner for 50 hours, and I'm still in Michigan. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Yeah. So I'm I'm still in Michigan and I've put 50 hours into it. <laughs> Haven't even touched Alaska or the other map. So yeah, definitely a good um if you enjoy the game, definitely a good money to hours type of game and it's fun I've just been like jumping into it for four or five hours here at a time switching between games and stuff it's just a good game to come back to and chill out to detour am I going the wrong way Huh, I don't know why it's telling me about- oh yeah, cause there was a detour here first, but then I, I repaired the bridge, so... Just didn't get rid of the signs, I guess. Oh sweet, does that include the um, season pass? That's awesome if it does. That's a wicked good value. Yeah, because I, I bought this game when it first came out for 60 bucks. And that didn't include the season pass, so that's crazy. Actually, that makes... I wonder if the season pass is on sale then. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check into that after. Oh, it does include the season pass. That's awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. You can easily get like 200 hours <laughs> alone on that. Well, that's your. That's if you're as slow as me. I'm. I'm pretty horrible at the game, so. <laughs> so, you might be able to progress a little quicker than I have. I'm always rolling over the vehicles, having to send another vehicle to flip it back over, and... <laughs> oh, the season pass isn't on sale? I, I hate when they do that. It seems like season passes hardly ever go on sale, and it's too, it's unfortunate. Because I would I would have bought so many season passes by now if they even went on like 10 or 20% discount, you know? Like Assassin's Creed those games the season passes like never go on sale but the gold editions always go on sale which like the premium edition for this game does include the season pass but it's like it it screws the people that already have the the base game it's like i'm not about to buy the game again with the season pass all right we definitely have enough fuel to get to the garage so we can fuel up there Repair the repair the truck and then head over to Black River to get those concrete blocks. What um what platform did you buy it on? PC, Xbox, PlayStation? Whoa! Almost ran right into that pole. Oh PS4? Sweet. Yeah, that's where I started playing it and then um, I played it on a PlayStation 4 Pro, and now I'm playing on the PS5 with backwards compatibility. It runs really well on the PS5. It runs it runs well on the PS4 also. Um, the only thing there's like the the frame rate dips once in a while um, that you'll probably feel, and then if I remember remember right, the map like when you pull up the this map, it's a little sluggish if if I'm remembering correctly, but. Other than that, runs really well. Looks great. Alright, let's head into the garage here. I think I have to detach the trailer first. Yeah. Alright. And then let me see if there's any customizations I can do this. Oh yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, and, um, luckily I was able to get a pre-order in like the night they went up back in September. Um, so I was able to get one for myself and my brother. Oh, I do have the off-road transmission for this. Oh, 
I think I'm going to stay with the balance transmission right now, though. It's working out really well. All right, still need to find the raised transmission. Yeah, hopefully you can get, get a PS5 sooner rather than later. I imagine they're going to get... <laughs> pump as many as pump as many as they can out as they can because I think they had some crazy goal of selling like 10 million by March or something it's some some crazy goal like more than they sold for the ps4 off-roads better Jupiter I'll try it out since it doesn't cost anything to use I'll try it out see how it goes and I could I could buy the extended winch, but that's a lot of money right now. The diff lock, I still need to find that. Right? Yeah. Um, spare wheel. Oh, a snorkel, that's what I wanted. Oh. Uh, oh, rank 12, so next level I can get it. Then the frame. Oh, there is a flatbed for this. Oh. Interesting, and there's a sideboard bed. Oh ho! -ho. Okay now. Ooh, bumpers. Ooh, the visor. I'm gonna get that. Horns. Round beacon, side chrome parking lights. Oh, I already bought the external horn. Or that's what stock it came on. Triple horn. External horns. Roof light. Beacon and fog lights. I think I'm going to go beacon and fog lights. Light it up better. Front bumper. Ooh, the heavy duty one's going to be cool. Once we reach rank 12, I'm going to buy that. So it gives a little more ground clearance too. It's not as low as these ones. Oh, but the stock ones. Okay. So the heavy duty one's just about where the stock one is anyways. Actually a little bit lower. But I like the extra lights on it. <clears throat> so we can get that next level. Cabin protector. Nah, I'm alright with that. Exhaust. What's the stock one? Oh, a little one. Rank 12 for the muzzle. Wedge cap. The wedge cap looks nice, but it's really, it's really tall. I feel like I'd just be hitting it on, on a bunch of tree branches and stuff. Ooh, I like the, the white ones. Those ones are pretty cool. MD rings are <laughs> rings rims are pretty cool also. I think I'm gonna go with these ones. Paint it's already painted the color I want. Exterior stickers? When did they add this? I don't remember that. <laughs> Mud monster. King of the Hill, Master. Oh, that's a cool sticker. Lifters Club. Trophy Pros. Trophy Raiders. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> Oscar Green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's what I, um... It's sort of what I... I think I'm gonna do Mud... No. Where was that other one I liked? Yeah, that one. Couldn't do that one. This is sort of the color I, um, put on all the trucks. Alright, I'm done spending money on customization. But they have this color, um, down in the bottom right. It's usually, like, green, white, and another color. So I just make all my trucks that. Like, if you look at this one, white and green. Uh, this one, white and green. So yeah, sort of like a... a um, a fleet color, I guess you could say. I still have to move this truck. <laughs> it's just in the way. But yeah, that one, white and green back there. All 
All right, let's go over here and grab this trailer again. Should be close enough. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll like it, Jonathan. It's a wicked fun game. I think one thing to... Um, whoa. Whoa, don't run into the building. One thing to uh, that I would suggest is just be patient. Um, yeah, I would say just be patient. I think when I first started out, I was trying to rush through everything, and I was tipping over a lot of trailers, and then effectively wasting a bunch of time just because I was... Um, had to keep, like, redoing trips and stuff and trying to... Um, fix loads that I rolled over and stuff like that so don't be afraid to just take your time you don't always have to be going as fast as you can all right off to black river to get some concrete blocks whoa oh my god I'm surprised that trailer stayed attached. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, I never played Mud Runner. So this was I was sort of jumping in blind. I mean, I knew what the game was about, but I hadn't had any like first-hand experience with it. as you can. Alright, Black River. I forget where I get concrete blocks here. I think it's over at the warehouse. If I'm remembering correctly. Let's see. All the way over here. Oh, it, sw it switched the task again. Hold on. I hate when it does that. There we go. Alright, concrete. Okay, yeah, the warehouse. That's what, that's what I was expecting. So I'm gonna have to go all the way around this map. Um, but most of it's paved. Oh no! There might be some concrete blocks on this, this tra trailer. Hmm. Alright. But yeah, most of it's paved, so it should be pretty quick. Unless I want to try and go... I could try and go up and around. Hmm. No, I'll go, I'll go south. I feel like it'll be quicker overall. Yeah, I'll definitely look you up, Jonathan. Good luck streaming it. It's a really good stream game also. I am sure I'm sure you know that from Mudrunner, but it's really good because you can really talk to the chat and stuff like that. What a good looking truck. Oh, slow it down, slow it down, buddy. Oh yeah. Yeah, when you're playing this, the time just flies away. <laughs> like I've been playing this for three and a half hours now. Almost three minutes shy of that. And it's just, oh, I, where did the time go? <laughs> just goes by so quick. I was thinking about putting the flatbed um, on this actual truck to get the concrete blocks, but once we brought the concrete blocks to the bridge, I wouldn't have been able to bring the flatbed trailer to the port, so just had to leave it as the trailer. Keep the low boy attachment on the truck.
All right, and we'll hit... No, I think we'll skip the, the fuel station up here. We have more than enough fuel to get at least to the, the second fuel station that we pass. Ooh, trailer's fishtailing. <laughs> Too fast for it. Yeah, the off-road transmission is good so far, Jupiter. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow down. Pump the brakes. This is not in-game music. This is, um, I stream, um, it's a service called Pretzel Rocks, I think. It's all copyright-free, trademark, infringement-free stuff. Um, if they haven't, if you, I'm not sure what you stream through, but if you stream from Streamlabs OBS, there's a, a plug-in for it, so it integrates it right into Streamlabs OBS. And it also has a, an extension for your stream where you can, um, people can request music from it. For I think, I think the lowest I could make it was 100 bits, which is still pretty high, like, I'd probably make it like 50 bits to request a song, but... Yeah, it's really cool, it has a whole bunch of different stations. Right now, I think it, I have it on just like ambient station or something like that. So it's just really mellow music. But they have anything from like rock to rap to um, whatever, really. Forgot I can go left here now because I, I got rid of the um, fallen over power lines. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of sound like a spa. <laughs> Yeah, when I first started playing the game today, um, I had on a different play playlist and it, it said it was chill music and it was like the second song it started playing was like hard EDM and I'm like, no, I can't, I can't listen to this while I'm just putzing around in a truck. <laughs> Alright, so there'll be a gas station up here we can, we can fuel up, although we haven't used much, but... If we're passing it anyways, we might as well fill up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hit more things in this truck than any other. <laughs> Just gets away from me. Oh, okay, Jupiter. Yeah, I have a... Uh, I forget which truck, but I have a... Uh, it might have been actually... Might have been the little sh Chevy pickup, like one of the scout trucks, that I put the off-road transmission. So I've seen the the three low gears before, um, and the high gear. So I'll have to try it out when we're hauling something. But right now this truck is so good with power and traction that I've, I've been able to just leave it in automatic, luckily. Alright, let's fill up. Yeah, the, the off-road transmission's working good so far, so thanks for suggesting it. And I must have found it sometime earlier, before I even had this truck, so it's an easy equip. It's going to be cool once I get the off-road transmission and I can get the 47-inch tires. This truck's going to be a beast, <laughs> more so than it already is. Oh yeah, Jonathan? Yeah, I'm not sure how many trucks were in Mudrunner, but there, there's a ton of trucks in, in this game. And they just keep adding them with the season pass and stuff. Although one thing I don't like is that there's it seems like there's a few trucks that they've added that aren't in the season pass and you have to buy like extra. And I think they're like three or four bucks extra. Um, oh, I'm going the complete wrong way. Um, I can cut through here and then take a right oh more customization that's cool yeah I, I like all the customization they've had yeah I like the 6x6 that that looks so cool but I wish they just included that stuff in the season pass like I understand why they they I mean they obviously do it to make more money but 
it's unfortunate that they just didn't keep it in the season pass. Oh, Alwood drives off. I don't think I've ever been down this little side road. It's a pretty nice shortcut. Oh, the Western Star 49X is worth it? Okay. I'm kind of hoping that they'll add a couple more trucks like that for like three or four bucks, whatever they are. And then they package them together at like a little bit of a discount. It's a cheap price for what you get. Yeah, it's, 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 I mean, three, three or four bucks isn't expensive by any means, but I just wish it was in the season pass. Not, not that I even have the season pass either, but, <laughs> and that's not for money reasons. The season pass is well worth it, but I, I have no need for the season pass right now. <laughs> I'm still doing Michigan, uh, Michigan missions, so. I mean, maybe after I do, like, finish the Michigan missions, maybe I'll do the season pass and some extra trucks and stuff. Oh, you bought all three of those? That's cool. How many hours do you have in this game, Jupiter? So I have 50, so you, you probably have, like, over two or 300, right? <laughs> you must have a ton. All right, let's pick pick up some concrete bricks. Skid in. Tokyo drifting. Um, bricks, concrete blocks. Oh, concrete blocks. That's what it was. All right, we just need one, and we're off, like a herd of turtles. Whoa, metal pipes. Oh, geez, that did 28 damage. Yeah, <laughs> geez. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it the day it came out. Um, and I played it. Probably the majority of my play has been was probably the first week or two, and then I moved on to some other game, I forget which one. Um, and now, since then, I've just been playing it like three or four hours here and there. But yeah, I was surprised to see... No, no, no. Oh, jeez. I was surprised to see that I have 50 hours in it. I wouldn't have expected that. Oh yeah, let's make a route, make sure I go the right way. I could go through that little shortcut again. Oh, I haven't even gotten that upgrade. Should go grab that sometime. Um. Yeah, I think I'll cut through here again. And then we'll go... We'll go south again. Just go the same way we came. Oh yeah, you jumping into like multiplayer with people to help them out. through this area so we're gonna have to go through Smithville Dam again to get to Drummond Island but I think we'll go the same way we came where we go where we went down the mountain we're gonna go up the mountain now and come out that same entrance on Drummond Island up in like the top left of it Oh, I see Jupiter. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the same way where I've had a lot of people offer to to jump into multiplayer and help me. Um, 
but I like just taking it, taking it myself and taking my time and, you know, just putting around. I like doing it solo. I think if I did multiplayer, it'd be like you where I, I would jump into someone else's save. So yeah, we're a lot alike in that, in that regard, I feel. Yeah, this is a nice little shortcut. I don't know why I never took it before. truck there we go whoa oh my god that was like full ramming speed right into that rock <laughs> Alright, we'll get gas here, just because we're using gas more since we messed up the engine <laughs> from slamming into that rock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's get some fuel. Got the fuel. Then click this, do that, cool. and we're on our way again. I mean, there's still missions I need to do in in Black River. It's crazy how ma how much stuff there is to do in this game, and also just like how long it takes you to do it. So you can't just zip through the game. Oh, is this the right way? Alright, I usually stop streaming at 7 p.m. Um, so that's in about 15 minutes, but I want to at least bring this to Drummond Island, fix the bridge, and then I want to finish off that drilling equipment mission. So we'll do those before I end the stream. So hopefully, I don't think I can get that done in 15 minutes, but if it goes a little over, that's fine with me. It's a Friday night after all. I can go a little bit over. No, 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 no. Close one. <laughs> Actually, I should have taken a different route and gone down to the garage so that I could repair this truck. It's all right. Oh yeah, the sticker on the... <laughs> I forgot the sticker on the hood. Take it slow here because if I remember right, usually when I don't have a truck that's lifted, it just like bottoms out and slam. Oh, plus we hit that tree. Usually if, if I don't have a lifted truck, it seems to like bottom out right there and do some damage. So just slow it down a little bit.
Might as well fuel up. pretty quick to get to Smithville Dam from here but I think once we're there I might skirt up to the garage just to fix the truck since we're gonna uh, I mean uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna pass it anyways since we're gonna go to the top entrance of Drummond Island so We'll definitely stop the garage. As long as we don't lose these concrete blocks, <laughs> we'll be golden. Otherwise, we're going to have to come all the way back. I think it, it'll take quite a quite a big um, tip for the concrete blocks to fall out of this trailer, so we should be relatively safe from it bumping around and um, jiggling all over the road. I think one of the coolest things about the PlayStation 5 so far, um, after having it f over a week now, surprisingly, flew by, um, is how quiet it is compared to the PlayStation 4 or the or the PlayStation 4 Pro. It's like I never hear it, which is awesome. Loading. Skip scene. Let's go up to the garage. Repair this truck. The engine is wicked broken. It's crazy that the concrete blocks, the only place to get them are in Black River. I would have thought there'd be another warehouse that carries them. I guess not. Oops. Accidentally put the handbrake on. <laughs> Alright, we're almost to the garage. I'm gonna have to detach the trailer, but we'll just leave it right here. We can pick it up when we come out. Just go in the garage real quick and leave. I still need to move that truck. It's just right in the way. Alright, 
and we'll attach to the trailer again. And then off to Drummond Island to hopefully fix the bridge. You can get him in Smithville Dam? I don't think... Um... I don't think you can, because if you go, you can hear cargo info. Starts out bricks, um, whatever that is, and then the concrete blocks is that third symbol from the left um, under cargo info. And then if you go to Smithville Dam, that's nowhere on here under the cargo info. So I don't, I don't think you can get them in Smithville Dam, unless I'm reading that incorrectly. I don't, I don't think you can. It, it would have been amazing. <laughs> and I, and maybe you can. Maybe I'm going to feel like a, a total fool. <laughs> Alright, let's attach to this. Might be too far away. Oh, nope. Alright, off to Drummond Island. We have almost a full tank of gas. We have the concrete block. Whoa, slow down, slow down. Oh, you remember getting them? Huh. Oh, maybe I just haven't uh, um, found all the warehouses in this, in Smithville Dam. Maybe there's another warehouse that I haven't um, unlocked or something. We can check after. Or some other time actually. Probably won't back won't be back to Smithville Dam tonight. This off-road transmission gets going quick, really fast. So it's mostly paved. We just have to, it just takes a while to get up the, the mountain once we cross the dam. Go past the quarry, I think it's called. Oh no, trailer. Starting a fishtail. I should have just put another concrete block in the back of the trailer so that there's weight over the rear wheels. I think that's why it keeps swinging around. There's only weight in the front. I wonder if it, if they simulate that, um, at least to that extent. It seems like they do, because I don't see why else it would be swinging around like that. What the? I don't know why I just took damage. <laughs> that was weird. Just to hit a pothole. Alright, and we'll probably use quite a bit of gas going up the mountain, since it'll be all mostly uphill. Come on, truck. You have that new off-road transmission. You have some nice new wheels. You have beacons up at the top. You can make it up this hill. I don't need to shift down to low.
This is a little scary part. <laughs> no guardrail. I like the beacons on the top of this. Makes it look official. Oh, we got some bouncing going on. What the heck? <laughs> Thing was like a bucking bronco. Yeah, I think I definitely should have. <laughs> I should have put cargo in the back of that trailer too, just to keep it, keep it uh, more pressure on the wheels. <laughs> Things bouncing around so much. We got a tree in the road. Ram it. Alright, we're almost there. And then once we get to Drummond Island, we're pretty close to the bridge. We're up in the top left corner and the bridge is in like the top middle, sort of. We do have to go south a little bit and then wind back up north. But should go rather quickly once we're there. And then from there, once the bridge is repaired, we have our trailer right there with the drilling equipment on it. So we can just hook right up to that trailer. And from there to the port is like really quick. Whoa. Camera. <laughs> the camera messed me up. Oh, look at our new headlights. Those fog lights, man. Yeah, I like I like the stock exhaust on this. It's too bad all the aftermarket ones were a lot taller, because then I'm just gonna hit them on all the trees. They looked nicer, but they were like well over the roof. Slow down. The bridge coming up. Good, good, good. And there we go. Still no incidents on that bridge. This is a little bit of a harder trailer to tow, it seems like, compared to the like semi-trailer that hooks to the low boy attachment. So I feel like the this trailer it bounces around so much that it's pu like pulling backwards on you at some points. We are almost there. Almost. <laughs> I wonder how much better this game looks on PC compared to console. Is it a, a really big difference? 
I wonder. Does anyone know? I don't think I've watched anyone play it on on PC actually. We'll slow down. Hit the rock. All right, we're really close to the end. The warehouse and then the tunnels right up here. It took almost, um, it took more than 30 gallons to get here. All right, off to the dam. So we just need to go down here, past the bridge, come down, and then wrap around the pavement. Okay. Cool. Turn the headlights back on. Don't forget to follow everyone if you're new, so you can be notified when I go live. Thanks to everyone watching. If you're watching on YouTube, excuse me while I just chill out a little bit. Um, if you're watching on YouTube <laughs> when I upload this later, be sure to like and subscribe. Both following and subscribing um, really helps out whichever service you, are, you like to watch on. All right, Jupiter, we'll see you next time. Have a good night. I'll be on er streaming early tomorrow, like 7 a.m. EST, so I might not see you. So if I don't see you for the rest of the weekend, have a good weekend. Thanks for all the tips. The SnowRunner tips, that is. <laughs> really helped out, especially finding this truck. <laughs> that was the best thing. Oh, thanks, Jupiter. Yeah, I, re I really try to put in a lot of effort to having a good-looking and sounding stream. I still need to do a couple things to my mic. Um... I was listening to my stream from yesterday, and there's a couple things I want to tweak, but... But yeah, thank you. Oh, am I going the right... Oh yeah, this is the right way. Cool. But yeah, have a good weekend, if I don't see you. Okay, continue shill. Um, if you go to my Twitch about page or about section, you'll see a link to uh, my Twitter, our Discord, where you don't need to be a sub to join. Anyone can join it. And also my YouTube page. And then there's also like a couple widgets on the about section. One's an Amazon one where I just list like what I use to stream, stuff like that. And I think I need to update it. I should do that after the stream. There's a couple things I've, I've added um, to the setup. And then there's also a widget for our Extra Life campaign. For the rest of this year, we're raising money for Extra Life to benefit Boston's Children's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. We've raised over $100 so far. Our goal is 250 so we're almost halfway to our goal. So yeah, you can also do in the Twitch chat, exclamation, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, Extra Life, to get links to all those things too. If you prefer to do it that way. But yeah, thanks for everyone for watching. We're going to repair this bridge, and then we're going to pick back up that drilling equipment trailer right there. That's right next to the drop-off, and then we have to bring that to the port to finish that mission. So we're really close to getting some, some extra money in this. Wait, what? 
Oh, I'm on the the uh it put me on the other mission. There we go. The bridge is repaired. Good job, brother. Oh, we got 6,000 for that. Whoa. That was a, a mission worth doing. I think we, we're going to get more money for that than we are bringing this uh, drilling equipment to the port. All right, let's attach to this trailer and be on our way. Man, imagine if I lost the cargo right at the end. <laughs> Just went off the bridge on accident. Jeez. It's looking like I was for a second. Buddy, up the hill. You can do it. We're so close. I can hear the water from the port. Alright, am I going the right? Okay. Yeah, I don't need to go down that little dirt road. I just need to keep following this road and then we'll be there. Slow, we are <laughs> slowly getting there. We're so close. Actually, we might get quite a bit of money from this mission because it's one of the main missions and not one of the like side missions. So we might actually get like 10,000 or so. And hopefully this will make us um, rank 12. Then we'll unlock a few options for this truck. Like the... Um, snorkel for the air intake so we can go through deeper water and then maybe next stream we can go look for the upgrades on the maps for this truck because we need to find the upgrade to get the lift kit for this truck We're so close. Well, I bet you I have to bring the, that power plant somewhere too. All right, unload. <laughs> we only got 4,700 for that. <laughs> I just got a call from the port crew to say the crate arrived safely. Thanks for your help. Not even 5,000 for that. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Alright. That's going to be it for tonight, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to follow so you can be notified when I go live. This will be uploaded to my YouTube page. You can find all that on my Twitch About page. Um, follow me on Twitter if you want. Yeah. Thanks everyone for, everyone for watching. Hope you have a good weekend if I don't see you tomorrow or Sunday. Weekends, we do 7 a.m. EST streams, so we do early morning streams instead. Um, but yeah, if I don't see you this weekend, have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.